What's up everyone? It's been a while since I last uploaded a video, but today's a huge day. I'm taking you on a wild ride from a broke college kid, coding in a tiny dorm room, to my first ever ad mob payout. It's been years of flip-flops, late night debugging, and tiny wins that finally led to something big. So grab a snack, cause this story is gonna hype you up. Let's jump in. Rewind to college second year. I was that guy who used to think, I will make an app, upload it, and boom, I'll be rich. Yeah, right. Fueled by that dream, I taught myself Kotlin, grinding through YouTube tutorials, Stack Overflow, and endless bugs. After weeks of struggle, I built my first app, which was a wallpaper app. But soon I realized it's not that easy. Even after a month, I had zero downloads. I was crushed. I told myself, maybe app dev's not for me. A few years later, something weird happened. I started getting random calls from ad agencies saying, hey, we want to put ads on your wallpaper app. And I'm like, what app? And one day, out of curiosity, I logged into my play console after years and my jaw dropped. It was 100,000 downloads. The same app I had given up on had quietly blown up. That moment hit hard. It was a mix of shock, pride, and regret. Because even after all that success, I wasn't earning a dollar. Why? Because I never added ads and Play Store doesn't pay based on downloads. That was clearly a bad move. That 100K moment woke me up. I told myself, all right, time for a real comeback. So I built another wallpaper app with name Stitch Wallpaper. I did some keyword research using SpyFew, worked nonstop, and within weeks it hit 1,000 downloads. Once it crossed 1,000 downloads, I added ad mob ads and saw a few dollars roll in and thought, yes, this is it. But then, one day I received a mail from Play Store stating that my app has been suspended due to copyright violations issue. Turns out Stitch is a Disney character, so you can't use it. Yeah, that one stung. But it taught me something big. Stay original, stay safe, and no shortcuts. After that, I didn't quit. I came back stronger and built my another app, CC Link. This time, I played it smart. Used SpyFu to find low competition keywords, avoided crowded niches, and doubled down on Play Store SEO. I even did a bit of promotion and guess what? It worked. CC Link hit 10,000 downloads in just a few months, pulling over 123,000 ad impressions. That win gave me fuel. I went on to build more utility-based apps like EPUB to PDF Converter, PDF Compressor and others. I focused on SEO, learned how the Play Store algorithm works, and somehow managed to rank in the top 10 apps for my category. Man, that felt incredible, like I was finally doing it right. And through all this, I followed one simple rule. No ads until an app hits 1,000 downloads. And for the ads network, I chose AdMob because it's simple. It is Google-backed and tracks every click and sense. The only problem was the ad limits. So yeah, that's another reason why I waited till 1,000 downloads before placing ads. After a few months, there came the moment I had been waiting years for. On October 23rd, I got a message from my bank stating that my account has been credited with $102. That's about 8,780 rupees in Indian currency. It's not millions, but it's mine. It's proof that every failure, every sleepless night, and every restart meant something. And that's all how I received my first payout. I started from a failed wallpaper app to my first $102 with AdMob. I couldn't be more proud. If you're out there building something, keep going. Your first win might be closer than you think. Drop your story in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more vlogs.